So peacock, owl, beast, and walrus are dead. Somebody commented on my video that said you're doing them all wrong and that you were lucky. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, uh, let, me, let me explain to you how we do things around here. We don't take a solid approach. We don't use guides. We just, everything's kind of haphazard and fun. Exactly as I was, as I would be playing this game as a kid. Well, I, I don't know. Um, I really don't know if he, I think uh, he may have been trying to be helpful. I don't, I don't know. Right. Cause some people, their approach to being helpful is basically just point out you screwed up and this is how, or I think you screwed up and this is what you need to do next time to do it better. Even though you might've found your own way to do it. It's, it's not as good as their way because their way's right. And I understand that. I don't, I don't personally appreciate it. I think there's more than one way to do something, but I appreciate that there was the thoughtfulness there to, to help guide me, even though I didn't really need it. No technical order. You're having fun. And that's what matters. Yeah. More previous game data. Let's see. Oh, look at all we got. Look at all that gear. <laughs> Sir, it's a message from the Colonel. X, I'll wait for you at Memorial Hall. Ooh. Make sure you show up on time. Sir, this must be a trap. Perhaps, but I won't run this time. When did you run before? He fled from you. Oh, this is different. No background. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Colonel, stop this foolishness now. Never. Colonel, please think this over. What's happening? The Repla Force must be independent. Playing it just like a new player would be wood and it's like Indiana Jones meets robots <laughs> as long as there's not snakes our battle will determine this oh we're fighting okay oh so he just he called me up to fight this is kind of funny show me what you've got uh huh oh right I gotta dash under those. Shit. Oh, there's more stage over here. Ah, okay. This guy's not that hard. I was just, I had my thumb on the D-pad. I'm like, why am I not moving? It's such a hard habit to break. Damn it. I never know where he's going to be. Slippery. Fuck. I think I've got his rhythm, then I do something stupid like that. Ah, damn it. I waited just a hair too long. Tell people that I admire and respect your way of analyzing the enemies and finding the way that works for you. It's so refreshing. I said I thought everybody would play like this. That's the thing. I mean, until you know how other people do it, you just assume that everybody does things your way. Just in general with lots of things. I don't know. I kind of like it. I mean, uh, I've always been that sort of experimenter with things. OK. 
Okay, run and jump. Run and jump. Oh, didn't run and jump there. Dash, jump, dash. Run and jump. Damn it. This guy's, uh, he's not bad, though. Ah. gonna get him this time. Might take another two times or so. Unless he's got like another stage, which please don't. Dash, jump, dash. Oh. Damn it. I wish I could shoot him when he's... Ah, too slow. Okay, I can get him. Oh. I can't keep still when he's like that, because he'll be right behind me. There we go. That's better. Dash, jump, dash. Okay. Waited too long. Damn it. This guy does not give me many chances. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Uh, you can be rough one for sure. He's hard without his weakness. Very true. Let alone that. No, this is in bear plane armor. No upgrades either. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord Duras. Uh, I. Uh, for forgetting that information. Yeah, I haven't gotten any of the upgrades yet. But I haven't really... I usually do the gear hunting... I don't know. As it comes, like if I see something. I, I don't use a guide when I play this game, so... A lot of times it's just trial and error, and... Trial and error and the fine-tooth comb. Those are, those are the two approaches. But I'll get this. I'll get this guy. I've... I just have to remember to keep moving. I'll show you no mercy. Now get ready. Ah, oh, damn it. I keep forgetting he does that twice in a row sometimes. Move. Get him? We got him. Nice. Yeah. Impressive. But the result won't be the same next time. 
Until then. Colonel! What is this guy's problem? I was expecting that to be more of uh, an exposition drop, like what Colonel's motivation is and what's going on. I didn't expect it to just be like, hey, let's meet in the park and fight. Oh boy. We're already huffing and puffing. <laughs> X, you've arrived. Dragoon, why did you betray the HQ? Heh, <laughs> you'll have to defeat me first. Okay, fine. But we're allies. You're so naive. Listen closely. I let the Sky Lagoon fall. And I do it again. Ha 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 ha. No, those were innocent people. You're not, Dragoon. Just a maverick. Oh, man. X actually kind of sounds bothered by that. <laughs> HP's a, a tad low. Even so, you have two lives left. Yeah, I don't expect to beat this guy on the first try. I just, this is just information gathering. He got that right. Power up, X. It's time you showed me what you can do. You have no idea what he can do? Didn't you guys work together? Um... That's not much, but it's... Oh, okay. This is like... Oh, shit. Ah... It's a little familiar. It's like Flamestag. Only I don't have any walls to jump off of. You sure about that? But he shoots high, he shoots low, and then he kind of dives. The dive is what I think I'm going to have more trouble with. Oh, let's get some more, some more information. Oh, you mean like Dalsim? That actually sounds like he's saying Hadouken. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> oh, I thought you meant... Because I was thinking of, like, the, um... Oh, you're right. But Dawson also has that move where he jumps up and about the midpoint, at the, the peak of his jump, if you press down and punch or down and kick, he does that sort of spiraling downwards. And I was thinking of Dawson because of the flames. But holy crap, that column of flame. I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do with that. Buster only, other than just take it. Ouch. But I almost had him down, didn't I? All right. Oh, so he's like a, a mix of all of those characters. But he's got a little Shoryuken too. anything about that other than just take it yeah wow okay if I had an air dash I could do this but I don't think I have what it takes to reliably beat this guy yet it, I would be relying too much on luck you know what I'm gonna put a pin in that one let's go to the jungle it's so much harder to see things in this game than uh, than in the SNES versions of it, because there's less contrast. Oh, those are annoying. And with the much more active backgrounds, I'm not complaining, it's just something that's tough to get used to. It's funny, I was saying earlier, as long as there aren't any snakes and... Oh, God, that's annoying. They're so... 
They're so low. I thought I, I thought there may be something down there, but I don't look. It doesn't look like I can. No, I'm. I'm just gonna skip that. I'm gonna assume that it's. There's nothing there. Oh my god. Holy crap, these spiders are annoying. Thank you. Definitely need that. Okay, thank you. Oh, great. You've labeled us all mavericks. I won't let you pass. Turn back now. Okay, so he's got the Repliforce symbol. Not the Sigma one. I'm sure there's a reason the game makes a distinction. Nope. Middle means they do something different. You're gonna drop stuff from the ceiling? Oh, shh. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Do I have anything in the tank? Huh. Oh, a bow spider? Yeah. I hate that spider. I just, I'm just not good at, at thinking of the pattern that it follows on the fly. I can beat that boss, like, regularly, but it sometimes I just, uh, I just can't do it without being hit yet. I keep trying. Ah. Oh, shit. shot off there. Oh, now he's, now is when he gets stupid, eh? You throw your things. Okay. I think, I think this is doable. Okay. Whew. That's another one down. What is this? What is this? What the hell? Okay, that does that. This does nothing. This jumps. What? Those things hurt? What the hell? I am... What? Jesus! <laughs> Okay, this is, uh, I was not prepared for this. Oh, there was something there. I'm, damn it. <sighs> We're huffing and puffing and we've got zero lives left. Well, that's better than nothing. All right, let's meet this jerk. Oh, great. You wouldn't believe who that was. Who? Oh! The thing that was... Is it him? Kind of looks like him. Same colors. I have to... <laughs> one life and one dream, yeah. You're not kidding. 
Uh, oh, so I can Okay, that makes sense why I couldn't do any damage to him. All right. I'm impressed that you found me. But your search is over. Get ready, X. So he's in a Repo Force, dude. Okay, what do you do, mate? Ooh. Oh, those are annoying. But they can be destroyed. Okay. You got the U... The U scoop. Shit. Okay, I have to kill those things early. Yeah, this is not happening today. Holy crap. I really have to kill those things early. I cannot let too many of them get on the floor because then I, I can't move without getting hit. And then he just has his way with me. Oof. This is... Despite this being super challenging, this level is incredibly fun. Yeah, he's... He... He defeated me pretty handily. Got a little bit of information about him now, but not a whole hell of a lot. I got it. I don't know what it was. Shit! A lot of people prefer playing a Zero over X. Hmm. I mean, Zero is pretty cool. He's got the long, dashing hair. I don't know. I mean... I haven't really... Like, I don't, I don't know much about Zero, the character. I know that... At the end of X3, it said that X was destined to kill Zero, which honestly had me surprised as hell, because I'm like, I did not expect to read that. Unknown to X, his destiny has already been decided. To save mankind, he must destroy Zero? What? I, I like Zero just because of the way that he's introduced in, in X1, like the first game, where you get just trounced by Vile, and he comes in, blows his arm off of his uh, right armor, and without even saying a word, Vile just books it out of there, really establishing the power level of Zero versus X versus Vile all in that one little scene. You flip when you find out Zero's origin and his connection to the lore. Ooh... In due time, in due time. Okay. So I have to jump up to about door height and just blast away when he's firing those little squid things at me. Okay. Ah, and then I have to be in the middle here. Shit, that's hard. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Ah! Oh, that thing just stays forever? Shit. No, 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 no. <sighs> that is really hard. Holy crap. Tense as... <laughs> Man, this is... This is... This is hard. Because I don't know... Oh, I guess I could just jump up the opposite wall regardless, because if he's doing his U-bomb, then I'll have enough time to get out of the way, but... Shit. Shit. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> well, what are you doing now? Oh, shit. Whoa. He's got an M. Bison move. 
Oh, those are different. Those must be more dangerous. Where are you? Oh, Jesus. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, Fang, doing Buster only shows you like a completely different way of fighting a boss. It's so much more challenging, and the bosses are so much more interesting. And I say that every single time. Because I used to do that too, where every time I'd play like X, I just, I know the pattern, right? Like you go to, you got to um, chill penguin first, then you just start from there and you, whatever. But it is so much more fun because the boss is, it's like it's a completely different boss fight. Like what's, um, Magnus Centipede is a great example of that. Magnus Centipede's, if you don't use Silk Shot against it, and that's X2, right? Yeah, Magnus Centipede is X2. Two, I'm pretty sure. If you don't use the silk shot and he keeps his tail, whew, it is it is really hard to fight him because he has a specific attack that he uses where he just sucks you in, where he just pulls you into him, and it's very very hard to get away from him. And when he does, every single time he does, he drains some of your power, not your life. It doesn't actually hurt you. Yeah, he infects you. Thank you. He doesn't actually hurt you. But the first time he does it, you can't do any charge shots. Uh, the second time, I think, is you don't shoot as fast. Third time, I think you, your shots are even slower. And then it gets to a point where you can barely jump. You can't dash, you can barely jump. If he keeps getting you successive times, it is such a bitch. That, that's like one of the hardest bosses of X2. Might, might be the hardest one. Just because figuring out his out figuring out his strategy is one thing, but actually implementing it, it is is harder. Like zero is exactly the same thing in X2. Zero, his pattern is very simple, but he is hard to beat because he's so bloody fast. You make one single mistake, and he'll hit you for a lot. But I absolutely advocate for doing Buster only because it's fun. It'll feel like playing a completely different boss. We got Dragoon again. My only concern with him was that stupid flame stream, which I'm wondering if I, I'm wondering if the uh, Frost Walrus weapon would help because it basically just puts up a wall of ice. But that would be using, well, it's not really using a weakness. That's just a defense. But there's got to be an air dash in here somewhere that will let me just hang in the air a little bit longer. It's just a matter of finding it. I haven't figured out if I can get over there yet. But you know what? Let's see what these weapons can do. Which one is this? This is Lightning Whip. It's so weird. Okay. Whoa. Holy crap. There's a lot of stuff over here. What the hell? What the hell? Holy cow! That's a lot of... That's a lot of health power-ups. I'm gonna go back to the owl stage. Because there, I also saw something before. I saw another heart tank. And it was on one of these platforms that... Or not one of these ones. There's like that big fuck-off laser that's destroying everything. You have to basically get onto it before... It blows up the platform. Oh man, you pain in the ass. There it is. Got it. Ah, well. Now, there's also... I had this theory back on Slash Beast stage that there was something in one of the trains that you could destroy with the ride armor. And I never went back to test that out. I'm gonna try this dude again. That's kind of neat, actually. Oh, they're staggered. 
That's the thing, they're not falling at the same rate. That's what's annoying. Whoa, you mind? I'm trying to explain something here. So, the two on the left have a different cadence than the one on the right, which is freaking annoying. Hang on a second. Can I... Are you kidding me? I'm just trying to get my web spider. Or web weapon. This game has no chill. Come on. Nothing? You rewarded me for that effort with nothing? I'm very mad at you, game. Alright. So... We meet again. I've arrived. Again. Okay. Fight time now. Oh, shoot. Dude, look at the walls! Oh, shit. <laughs> Probably too late to... Oh, why didn't that work? Ah, oh, well. Okay, sub tank. That didn't work. Okay. Yeah, he did. Uh, he did it twice. I wasn't expecting that. All right. I can do this. Technically, couldn't you hug the wall when he does the flamethrower? I don't know. Oh, there is a wall. Oh, with, and there's just the gap with the lava. Oh shit. I didn't even think about that. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay. It's a bit of a stretch to get there on the one side. Yeah, all right. Oh, he only did the one Hadouken there. Got him. Final. Oof. Yeah, a lot of times, though, what I was... You're right, he does have a pretty long lineup for the animation. There's also the risk of there not being a complete wall on the one side, and there's also the gaps with the, the lava, but... Uh, the, a lot of times what I, the, the reason I was having that problem is because he's off screen when he's winding up so I don't know what he's doing which was a problem with my strategy anyway but we got him you are strong it's such a waste oh wait this is X talking <laughs> such a waste why Dragoon always wanted to fight you. Then he appeared and he appeared? Who? Told me to work for Repliforce to goad you into fighting. You did it just so you could fight me? I mean, if I were X, I'd be flattered as hell. As long as you're careful with your jump, the left wall isn't too bad. I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me to use the walls. Hmm. Can't see if fight was worth it for a final duel. But if you won, it wouldn't have been a final duel. So you knew you were going to lose? Hey, whatever. Dragoon! Oh, he's... He's dead. Like, he actually died? Or is he going to be in the... The, uh, what, what did I call it before? The, um, 
Reploid Roundup Rematch or Reploid Rematch Roundup or something at the end of each game where you have to fight all the bosses over again. Now you have fire. I wonder what you can acquire. Jeez, Lord Beerus is just spoiling us with these with his rhymes, with his artful rhymes. <laughs> Shoots fire energy vertically. Oh, I know where I'm going. So those little snow dudes are paintings in the ass. Oh wow, I didn't realize it was right here. Why did I think it was so so much further? Well, all right. So this reminds me of I remember seeing Yorch doing like a stage from I think it was Mega Man 2 with those disappearing platforms. I thought, man, I'm really glad those aren't in Mega Man X. And then they do this. <laughs> I, I don't remember what game it was, but he had this really, really tricky sequence where he had to just anticipate where the platforms were going to materialize. I'm like, how the fuck do you... Uh. Then I realized it's probably trial and error. There's nothing up there, is there? Oh, hello! What the hell are you? What in the world is that? How the hell am I going to get that? Oh, um, can I shoot? Oh, I think that's, I wonder if this is the right idea, but last try. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> I finally got it. And then I just missed the other jump. Oh, such a pain in the ass. Holy crap, that's hard. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting I do. That's a good point. Now it could be a few more attempts. This one is tough. It better be worth it. I don't even know what that thing does. There we go. So... What did I... Okay, so that was called... What was it, the EX item? I don't know what it does. It doesn't give me any indication. It gives you four lives when you revive after losing all lives. Oh! Oh, that's... That's very nice. And I missed him last time, but there's, there's Mr. Chill Penguin. Okay, so... Can't go anywhere there. Wait a minute. What was the other way? Cha! You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, because there was there was two paths and I took one. I thought I'd be able to double back. I think I have an idea of... Wait a minute! Oh wait, I think I know vaguely where it is. What's over here? What? Was this here the whole time? Oh, okay. Shh. <laughs> Because I thought I, I thought I already went down this area. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm an idiot. This battle should never have happened, X. I thought Dr. Light was dead. How come he keeps updating these messages? Why must Reploids fight each other? Every single time someone says that. Why do these keep these peacekeepers persist in fighting each other. This must be some sort of mistake. X, enter this capsule. Equip with this to discover the truth. Equip with this boot module, oh sweet, and jump twice in the air to hover. Hmm. You can move either left or right and will remain airborne for a few moments. Huh. 
It is effective for negotiating through higher and more dangerous terrain. I bet I'm gonna need that. Stop this tragic war as soon as possible. X. <laughs> I love how it, just the one letter is on the next screen. They, uh, they couldn't have just found a way to tighten up the font a little bit. Minor nitpick, minor nitpick. But he certainly had a lot more to say. Whoa. Oh, I can... For about five seconds. That's... That's pretty cool. Wait a second. There was something up here that I think I needed. Because there was something I... I think it's just over here, actually. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Mm. Shoot. Must... Oh, all that for nothing? Damn it. I thought for sure there'd be something up there. That's weird. Do you see how his animation just has his regular boots until, uh, until like the last frame and then it puts his snazzy boots on? I think the last time I played this part, I was just trying to get through so quickly because there was just so much crap going on. I didn't really have time to do a deep-ish dive. I wonder if... I may regret this. Well, if I did it that way, that was that was bad. That was a bad way to do it. I meant to air dash, not, not float. Hmm. I'm on to something. Oh, what though? Why is this destructible? Ah, hello. Hey, look what we found. I didn't mean to do that. Fucking hell. So, when I see those exposed parts of tree, they are destructible. And there's one right here. Do you have anything? Or are you just a, another convenient way to get through? Okay, that works. I'm going to have to call it in, uh, in about 10 minutes, but let me just think. I'm going to try Split Mushroom one more time before closing out the night. Soup! <laughs> Sorry, I can't resist. She saw an interesting article recently about how pixelated graphics were originally displayed on CRT TVs, which actually have a bit of space between the pixel, so it's not quite square and actually blends together nicely and just changed the way I look at pixel art forever. Huh. I don't, I did not know that. I definitely appreciate good pixel art, man. Just the ability for some artists to be able to create what looks like such a detailed picture with such little media. Oh, right. Gotta rush. There it is. No, oh, no, 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 no. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right. Time to visit my favorite mushroom. I'm going to get the uh, speech or well you don't you know you can question your orders right whose orders 
I think this is the first boss that I saw, like, the actual Sigma logo, and I was like, oh, no. He's, he's in this game, too. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed, is that when they're at half health, every time he falls, he's got those toxic, uh, to toxic splooge that comes out of his head. I think I did better that time, though. A game called Mushroom Men for Wii I got with Gamefly, and it was total gar- Gamefly! We were- oh, so- I was talking about Gamefly the other day with um, two of my friends on a, a live stream. We were talking about like who actually used it because we didn't know anybody personally and I was just aware of the existence of it. But it's so neat. I'm, I knew about it for the longest time. Didn't actually use it myself. Didn't know anybody that used it. Whoa! Can help. Okay, we're heart tanking this. Yeah, I know Gamefly. Uh, Blockbuster's only around in like a corporate manner, though. I think, right? close yeah I know I I know I know I know I know I'm sorry I'm sorry trouble with. Okay, 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 we can do this. Got him! Fucking right! Jeez, that was tough. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I I still don't really know if I figured out his pattern or I just got lucky. Wait a second. Wait a second. His weapon was called Soul Body? That sounds like a... That sounds like a hair product. Accumulates energy and generates an illusion. Enemies will sustain damage if struck by the soul energy. Requires high energy expenditures, however, and will eventually dissipate in time or if it sustains heavy damage. This, this is it, right? Let your soul glow from coming to America. Thank you. That's what I was trying to remember. I love that movie. I'm guessing this is the weapon that deals with those toxic lemons from uh, Cyber Peacock stage. That'd be my guess, but I'm going to have to put a pin in that. We were talking about Gamefly and, and Blockbuster. Yeah. Excellent return on investment. If you have the play style of always switching up a game and then only playing that game. Oh, I, my play style is usually like, I'll play a few different games all at once. Just different things I dabble with. 
Thank you, Fang Nocturne. It's been a pleasure having you on here. Every Monday, I'm playing a Mega Man game. Once I've done this, we'll go to X5, X6, X7, X8, probably. So you're more than welcome to, to come along. And you'll have a pl uh, prep. I'm trying to say pleasure and privilege at the same time. You'll have the privilege of talking to Lord Beerus as well. It's usually here on Mondays for moral support. It's been a ton of fun. I thank you guys for, for being here. It makes it so much easier for me in, in some ways to just have someone to talk to and bounce ideas off of. And people especially that, that know the game as well. Not that that's a requirement, but it's a nice to have for me, selfishly. Oh yeah, I do have to save you, right? I don't want to do that again. All right. That's a nice little collection. Now I just need the rest of the armor upgrades. <laughs> can't believe I didn't get any of them. Except for the boots. Oh, wait. We've got different music. Hold on a second. The Repla Force has begun assembling. Where are they? The spaceport. They plan to take off. Oh, into space. God damn it, that keeps throwing me off. I keep forgetting to look for punctuation. Hurry! We have to stop the Colonel. Oh. Okay. This is a good place to leave off. Good night, fellas. Good night, everybody else that was in chat. It's been a pleasure having you all on. This has been a productive night. And next week we'll start doing I'll start doing some more gear hunting mode. I guess it's mostly just the capsules I'm looking for now and the two heart tanks. Fang, thank you again for following. And I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Corpo, thanks for stopping by. And Lord Beerus, it is always a pleasure. Good night, everyone. And I will see you next time.